Hello, welcome to the Law Department at St Bede's. My name is Mrs Lindsay. I'm the lead teacher for law and I deliver the A-level alongside Miss Kirkbright. First of all, let's just think about why you might want to study law A-level. There are plenty of skills developed through studying law. You will develop your ability to think critically by analysing criminal scenarios and deciding if people are criminally responsible for their actions. You'll learn about legal authorities and use your problem solving skills to apply them accurately to scenarios. Remember that when you are deciding if law will suit you, think about the skills you already have. Law requires good English skills, so you'll need to gain at least a level six in English to be successful at law. Some of you might want to pursue a legal career, perhaps wanting to become a barrister or solicitor. But even if you don't yet know what career path you want to take, the skills you develop by studying law A-level can help you in a range of professional careers. I've given just a sample here of future careers in which law is directly helpful, but there are others, including journalism or working within human resources, which require the analytical and communication skills that you will learn in law. I've talked to some of our current year 13 students about why they selected to study law and have chosen a few of their ideas to share with you. I chose to study law because um, in order to become a barrister, even though you don't need law A-level, um, you need to have great communication skills. You also need to be able to argue your point very well in, in front of people. So law A-level definitely helped me to improve those skills. Um, law A level also helped me to develop my writing skills and being able to construct a, a verbal and written argument effectively. So that's, that's a few reasons why taking A level law helps in the future. I chose to study law at, six, at sixth form because I want to pursue the career of a barrister in the future. Therefore, I think studying law at sixth form is very useful to um, learn the techniques of essay writings, the arguments and debates. I want to study law at university, so this is why I decided to do a law A-level. It's not because you need it, but you learn really good skills, so even if I decided eventually it's not the career I wanted to go into, I knew that I would learn a lot from it and it would be really beneficial for me for the rest of my life. So let's look at the course content next. We teach the OCR A-Level syllabus. The course code is H418 if you want to find it on the OCR website. The first topic of the legal system and how laws are made is assessed through short 10 minute essays. The next three topics of criminal, tort and contract are assessed through applying the law to scenarios. The nature of law is an essay based unit. We'll now look at each of these in further detail. Firstly, we will study the legal system and how laws are made. This covers topics like how laws are made in Parliament, how judges interpret those acts of Parliament when they make case law, and the job of the Supreme Court. We will also look at the work of juries and magistrates. In criminal law, you will learn the law on non-fatal offences such as assault, the law on murder, manslaughter and property offences, and also any defences that a defendant can raise, such as intoxication, being drunk, or self-defence. We will teach you how to identify each offence, apply it to scenarios and argue whether the defendant is responsible or not. The next unit is tort law. This is a branch of civil law, so involves one party suing another party for money. We cover negligence law, which covers situations like a claimant suing a food manufacturer for allowing something to contaminate their food products. That's why I have a picture of a snail here. It comes from the famous case of Donahue and Stevenson in which a claimant was injured when she drank ginger beer from a bottle containing a decomposing snail. We will then look at land torts, such as occupier's liability, which covers claimants suing hotels if they're injured when staying there. Private nuisance is all about claimants suing noisy neighbours. And lastly, we look at vicarious liability, which is where a claimant sues a company, like a supermarket, if one of their employees does something to injure the claimant, like not cleaning up a spillage from the floor. The third legal topic is contract law. As part of this module, you will learn how contracts are formed, who makes contracts, and what happens if you break a contract. It may be surprising to know that we all make contracts each day and that contracts are not limited to formal signed documents. In fact, if you have purchased anything from a shop this week, then you have made a contract yourself. Again, as with criminal and tort law, in this unit, you learn how to apply the knowledge you learn to a scenario. The last topic is the nature of law. 
In Law and Morals, we look at issues such as whether assisted suicide should be legalised in the UK. Law and Justice considers racism and inequalities in the justice system. Law and Society reflects upon the extent to which the law should be used to control society. Law is assessed through 100% examination. The three exam papers each last two hours and have equal weighting. The first two have short essay questions, followed by two scenarios and an evaluative question. The last paper is called paper four because it is one of the optional units we can choose from. We chose contract law because it provides an excellent basis for those going on to studying law at university, where you will be required to study the law of contract. Last of all, I want to talk about the strengths of choosing St Bede's as the place to study law. We have an excellent track record of attaining good and outstanding results, with 46% of last year's cohort gaining an A star or A in law. Both Miss Kirkbright and myself have taught law A level for 10 years and make all of our own booklets, sample essays and revision materials to support learning. We have prepared a number of candidates for Oxford and are pleased to say that our successful Oxford students now help us to prepare our current cohorts for interview. Many also go on to study law at Russell Group Universities. We help students to prepare for the LNAT, a legal test needed if you want to apply for several of the top universities. Our extracurricular activities include visits to Parliament, the Crown Court, UWE and University of Bristol to take part in mock trials and workshops. Here are the views of some of our current year 13 students about why they selected to study law at St Bede's. Taking law at A-level, um, specifically at St Bede's, is, is absolutely great. I love the teachers, they're, they're really supportive and um, having small class sizes actually really helps because if you want to hand in an essay or you, you're having a bit of trouble, all you need to do is send an email and you, you get an email straight back because there's only a few people in your class, so that's great. And um, yeah, A-level law at St Bede's is, is definitely a good, a good uh, option to take. Um, it, it does really help the, the small class sizes and the teachers being really supportive and, and having everybody in, in such a small community really does help because if you need any help, there's someone always around the corner that, that can help you. So, yeah. I think it's a really good idea to study law um, at six from here in St Bede's because the classes are really small, therefore your teachers focus on you. Um, whenever you are stuck or need help, they are di directly there for you. You don't have to wait as they are in with you, um, especially in classwork. Um, you don't feel like you are not like alone as you have there with your classmates. Everyone can hear what you're saying. Um, it just makes it more comfortable um, and easier to study. At St Bede's, law is definitely my most supported subject. The staff are amazing and they're really, really enthusiastic. We get really good resources and I'd say that nowhere else offers this amount of excellent teaching. So it's definitely my favourite subject. If you have any questions about studying law at St Bees that I haven't covered in this presentation, please email me or contact the college if you'd like to have a chat about the course. Remember, if you're in Year 11 at St Bede's, there will also be assemblies running in the first week after half term in which you will have the opportunity to ask any questions about Law Ray Level. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you in September.